Ezekiel chapter 32, verse 16. The prophet said, this prophecy is a lamentation, and it shall become a dirge of the villages of the nations. They shall raise it as a howl over Egypt, and they shall raise it as a howl over all from noisy crowds, says Yahweh Eloah It was in the twelfth year, on the fifteenth day of the month, the word of prophecy from before Yahweh was with me, saying, Son of Adam, prophesy concerning the noisy crowds of Egypt, and bring it down. And to the villages of the mighty nations, prophesy that they shall be delivered to the netherworld, along with those who go down to the pit of hell, to whom you are superior in might, huh? Go down and sleep with the wicked. Among those slain by the sword, they shall be flung, they shall be delivered to the sword, which shall, which shall destroy them and all their noisy crowds. The mightiest warriors shall speak with him and with his helpers from the midst of Sheol. The wicked have gone down, they have died, slain by the sword. Assyria is there and his entire army. Their graves are all around them. All of them are slain who were slain by the sword, who were delivered to the grave at the furthest ends of the pit of hell. And their armies, their graves round about them, all of them slain, who were slain by the sword, who were delivered to destruction because they exercised tyrannical dominion over the land of Israel. Elam is there and all her noisy crowds round about them their graves, all of them are slain. All of them are the slain who were slain by the sword, who were brought down wicked to the netherworld, who were delivered to destruction because they exercised tyrannical dominion over the land of Israel. And they have been humbled along with those who go down to the pit of hell. Among the slain was their sleeping ch among the slain has their sleeping chamber been appointed for them with all their noisy crowds their graves round about them all of them are wicked slain by the sword who were delivered to destruction because they exercised tyrannical dominion over the land of Israel they have been humbled along with those who go down to the pit of hell they have been delivered among the slain Meshach and Tubal and all their noisy crowds are there, their graves round about them. All of them are wicked, slain by the sword, who have been delivered to destruction because they exercised tyrannical dominion over the land of Israel. They shall not lie with the heroic warriors who were slain by the wicked, who were brought down to Sheol with their battle gear, and who put their swords beneath their heads. They were their sins upon their bones. Surely they have been delivered to destruction by the warriors because they exercised tyrannical dominion over the land of Israel. So you shall be broken among the wicked and you shall lie with those who are slain by the sword. Edom is there her kings and all her princes who have been delivered with their might among those who are slain by the sword. They shall lie with the wicked, with those who go down to the pit of hell. The prince of the north are there, all of them, and all the Sidonians who were brought down with the slain when they were broken of their might with disgrace, and they lie wicked with those slain by the sword. They have been humbled with those who go down to the pit of hell. When Pharaoh sees them, he shall be confounded for all his noisy crowd. Pharaoh and all his armies shall be slain by the sword, says Yahweh Eloha. Surely they shall be delivered to destruction by the warriors because they exercise tyrannical dominion in the land of Israel, and they shall lie among the wicked, 
with those slain by the sword. Pharaoh and all his noisy crowd, says Yahweh the lower car. Um, first thing I want to say is um, this is part two to the uh, the revealing of Ezekiel 32. So when, when it says Egypt, the actual Hebrew word it's Mitzrayim, house of bondage. So wherever the children of Israel are still in bondage, that is the house of bondage in all the places where are scattered, but mostly from the land of the north. So that gives every indication to the United States as being Egypt, the house of bondage. Um, I've done a calendar, which is how I'm able to post dates from a literal Targum's perspective. Um, it's very difficult to do from a King James because a lot of the keys to aligning the map properly are missing. Um, and Enoch and Jubilees, they give a, a, an astounding clarity about how it's supposed to align, but just makes it difficult to place without the proper scriptures from the Torah. So I found those and I, I, I put them all together. And that's how I'm able to give the dates. So this prophecy is for the the 15th day of the 12th month, which is the next coming month. And the day is, because I can read it, August 17th. That is the date of this uh, the date this prophecy was given to Ezekiel. So, I just marked the days on the day it was given. Because it was given on that day and, and given an account for a specific reason. So, the, as you see me on my, my, my Facebook and my YouTube giving dates, saying um, this prophecy was, um, is on this day. It's literally that that's the date that that prophecy was given on. So uh, we can see how things are unfolding. Literally according to scripture, the last date I gave was for the uh, 27th, 28th of the 27th and the 28th of uh, July. So, July 27th to 28th, um, the Korean threatened the U.S. with nuclear destruction. Said that they would be bombed in a, a day tomorrow. The, the next day, they fired um, two intercontinental ballistic missiles successfully. So... That lines up with the prophecy when I said Zechariah 1, and it gives a warning. Because um, that was the day that Zechariah 1 gave his prophecy, and now I'm seeing that prophecy begin to unfold. Because it says that the arrows that they launch will not miss. Neither one will turn void. So, these prophecies are beginning to unfold in their own time. But the seasons of when they're lining up is literally right now. And the reason why I give two days for prophecy and revelation is because of the disparity of time between where the children of Israel, where Jerusalem is, and I call the people Jerusalem, not just this the location, because it's really the people, you know, where it specifies the land, that's the land, and that's here, but where it specifies the people as being Jerusalem, I specify the people. Well, a lot of them are in the land of the north, mostly Judah. And so he's got to drive them out. So, this is how he's going to drive you out. Um, I'm taking this time now to just kind of soak it all in because, you know, it's falling into place. 
um, prepare, get ready, and um, watch. You know, watch. Blow the show falls. I'm reading. I'm telling you what it says, and I'm saying what it says. That's all I can do.